an old mansion by the seashore at Sandy Bay, an inner suburb of Hobart. It's the home of Milan's seafood restaurant. And Milan's is one of the many places in Tasmania where you can dine on finely cooked abalone. Abalone are hand harvested by divers, a risky but high paying occupation. The Tasmanian Fisheries Development Authority is constantly researching the abalone so that they can maximize the industry. The abalone is a large marine snail. It's protected on top by a very hard shell and it has a muscular foot which through suction sticks to rock surfaces. Spawning takes place as water temperatures rise. From a small beginning in larvae form, the abalone grows to this size and then to adult size. Underwater, the shell is heavily camouflaged and difficult to see among the seaweed. Abalone divers earn good money, but the risks are great. There's the constant fear of air supply failure or surfacing too quickly and being crippled or killed by the bends or being caught in the seaweed. And down here, man is the intruder. Local fishermen sometimes find their nets destroyed by the one that didn't get away. There are very few shark attacks in Tasmania, but the abalone diver knows that he's not alone down there as he prizes abalone off the rocks. At the processing factory, the foot muscle and mantle are removed from the shell, a process called shucking. Abalone shells can measure as much as 20 centimeters across and produce over half a kilogram of cleaned fish. In restaurants like Milan's, the chef first trims off the black edging. He then cuts the meat into slices about five millimeters thick. Before he cooks the abalone, the chef tenderizes the muscle. Lemon and very hot butter. In this, the abalone will take only 30 seconds to cook. The abalone shell is ideal for presenting the dish to the customer. At Milan's, the fried abalone is a tasty entree, covered with a Bordelais sauce made from onion, garlic and mushrooms, perno and cream. There have been a lot of people behind the scenes before the tasty dish of abalone reaches the customer at Milan's. And the end result makes it all worthwhile. Good, isn't it?